Ahoy my hatchlings, and welcome to another redstone video. Today, we are looking at a dirt farm. Yes, yes, I'm serious. This is actually a dirt farm. So, in 1.16, it added the ability for renewable dirt. But you need a couple... Oh, hello there. You need a couple farms in order to do this first. First, you need a gold farm. Then a piglin trading hall, which will give you gravel. It makes the gravel with some dirt. You get some coarse dirt. And then you can hit the coarse dirt with the hoe, if there's nothing on top of it, and you will get dirt. So with this, we can make unlimited dirt, though it is a little bit slow. It's probably not something you'd necessarily use in a normal Minecraft world, but in a game of Skyblock, this machine could be fantastic. So this machine runs at about 6,000 blocks an hour, and it's very simple to use. Just fill this guy up with some coarse dirt. Stand on top of this dropper here, put the dirt in your offhand, aim at this white thing here, and just like that, the machine runs for you. And that's all there is to it. This machine pushes stuff into here until it reaches this little repeater here, which triggers all of these pistons. And every two piston fires, this TNT duper is triggered. So let's go over how to build this thing, because it is actually quite simple. So setting this guy up is quite simple. Place a redstone torch, then a piston. Now coming off of this piston, we need a repeater. And then looking at this, so basically what this is going to do is this is going to detect that a block has been placed. Now we need a delay because it takes a little while for this to all be placed. And we want this to be able to fast fire as fast as possible, or the piston to fire as fast as possible. So we're gonna use an observer, have it going into a note block, going into another observer, going into some redstone dust, place a sticky piston here, and just like that, this thing is all set up to go. Whoopsie. Just... And that basically lets us zero tick this piston. Now we just need a quick little platform to stand on here. Now make sure that you place a carpet here. This makes it so that when you place the block here, it and holding down, it doesn't automatically get placed there, and we can't place a block on top of it because otherwise we're not able to hoe the dirt. So let's run back over here quickly and grab a couple more materials. The next step is going ahead and attaching the dropper to this thing, and this dropper is very simple to attach, just boop. Now you can, you can use whatever sort of injection system you want, or fill system, I just have a sing single chest here. And now we need to power this dropper, so let's come down here, boop, boop, stick another redstone repeater. All these repeaters are on one tick, or zero, zero, I, I suppose it depends on how you count the, the ticks. Uh, just run this along like this, and now this machine will automatically dispense dirt to you, or whatever block you put in here. I, re I recommend putting dirt, however it should be noted that this farm can also be used to strip wood. So now you can just place it here, whoopsie. Oh, wait, hold on, I've, I think I've done this wrong. Right, you need to also go ahead and put a sticky piston right here. And this just makes sure you don't double fire the thing. And it's very important that you make sure these pistons are down, or the blocks are down when you actually first run this thing, or else the whole thing kind of doesn't work. And just like that, we have this part all set up. So we have the little bits that we need. First thing, at the very end of this, because we want to make sure that this stuff can't get destroyed because of how this is made, we have ourselves a repeater, a redstone torch, now coming out of this thing, we will have some, oopsie, I need some redstone dust. Make it in here, thank you. Grab ourselves some redstone dust, and we're actually gonna, two, three, four, five. We're gonna break those five, because above here, we actually want to put five downward facing pistons. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, we take this thing, and what we're going to do is we're just going to run it up a quick little path here. Just go, boop. Let's just do like this. And wait, is this in the wrong spot? 
It is, slightly. I need to... I'm sorry. Let's just run this over like this. Carry it up. And then carry it up to here. One, two, three, four. Just across like that. One, two, three, four. Across like that. We pop this guy out. It doesn't need to be there. And then bring these guys up. And then go across here. Five. And five repeaters. And you want these to all fire at the same time. This one is slow enough that these don't need to be zero tick. But what will happen here is when we place a block here, this whole thing will fire, pushing everything down. So the next step is to go ahead and add in the TNT duper. And the TNT duper is a pretty simple thing, and there's lots of videos on that, so I won't necessarily go over how to do it, but I will go ahead and place it in the system now. Okay, so we have our TNT duper set up here. It is not primed, but this is just super sip simple and quick thing to do. Place a repeater on one tick here, and now your duper is connect up, connected up. That when this thing fires, it will push this forward, and then when it fires next time, pull it back and dropping down our TNT. Now we need to create a system in order to hold the TNT in the correct place. And this is actually quite simple to do. From this spot here, go down 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, and then place a block here. And you can break these blocks. I recommend not using obsidian for the, your pillaring blocks, but if you want to, you can, you can. It is your pejorative. And from here, the TNT should land on here. So just go ahead, set up yourself a quick little recovery unit, or a collector unit like I have here. If you want, you can use hoppers. I prefer to use water streams. This thing only runs at 6,000 blocks a second. Sorry, 6,000 6, blocks an hour. So you don't actually have to worry about overloading hoppers. So from here, you can just go ahead and let me just grab some blocks here. And now the TNT duper has been pushed together. Pulls back. Sits there. And boom. And this will not blow up any blocks above around here. So these blocks are actually very safe. And apparently so is that guy down there. So far I haven't had any losses running this machine. It's been a really quite nice little machine. There'll be a world download in the description, and I really hope that this has helped some of you in your endeavors, particularly in Skyblock. But with that, I've been Splashes. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!